guys, it's Peter and Ice Cream Bar. Today we're gonna get started on a new character series. This time I'm going to be introducing you to a ball giant doll you might be kind of familiar with if you've watched my videos. Casper. You might not know the name though. You probably don't know the name. I never talk about my characters until now. So Casper is a Dalmore Lisa Rubik head on a Dalmore Adam body. His character was originally created in about 2006, but he wasn't really fully fleshed out until 2008 and beyond. And I guess the reason you might recognize him is because he was in some of the wig videos I've done. He was in the Cool Spectrum wig video, he was in my very first wig video, and actually I, I think that's it. So you might be familiar with his face. I guess I'll start by saying he, like many of my other characters, has horror elements in his uh, backstory, if you will. This time it's a little more supernatural than slasher serial killer, you know? A little more woo and a little less uh, uh. Also, like many of my other characters, Casper is not his real name, but more of a, a name that he gave himself. Casper is blunt, abrasive, he's not shy at all, rude, hiding his lack of confidence and apparent narcissism. I'm sure a lot of you have met people like Casper in your life, you know, kind of, um, um, obnoxious, but at their core, lonely and and afraid that they're just not enough. I don't deserve to be loved. He's also got social anxiety, which he struggles to not drink his way out of. You know, he's on a, a tippity, tippity, slippity slope. This is not at all slope-like, is it? This is just fingers wiggling. A wiggle wiggle. He acts like he's pissed at the world and does on some level blame everybody else for his problems, but only because he blames himself the most. So it's okay. Logic. I mean, deep down, he's just terrified that he's not a person worth knowing. So for the first time in these videos, I actually am talking about a character where I have other characters that are in doll form that are actually related to that character. I feel like that was a really roundabout way of saying that information. I have two dolls related to Casper. One is Mene, who is Casper's older brother, and one is Stefan, who is Casper's lover. I don't really like the word lover, but saying boyfriend or girlfriend, either of those words, makes me feel like I'm 13 for some reason. Finally, as I talk about this story, I just, I'm probably going to say way too much that it is not about romantic love, even though there is a relationship in the story. And I'll talk about it more later, but that, that relationship is really just kind of a weird metaphor for Casper's relationship with himself. <laughs> we will get back to that! Don't you worry! I'm sure you were very worried. I'm sure you were terrified. I was scared, for me. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you're interested in learning about Casper. Next time we'll be talking about Casper's backstory, part one at least, because it's probably going to be kind of long, but yay! New stuff, new stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks! Bye!